Hi there, and welcome to today's class. For today's class, I'll be trying to get um, answer some of the jam past questions on organic chemistry. And the first question here says, the IUPAC nomenclature of the compound. <laughs> All right, so that's this compound here. So basically, I'm asked to name this compound. So how do I name this compound here? Now, first things first, uh, when it comes to naming compound, of course, I've treated naming of organic compound, right, in a previous video. I'll leave a link to that video in the description of this video, right? So check the description of this video. You will see a link to my organic chemistry tutorial video on how to name compounds. Now, back to this, when it comes to naming compound, the first thing you do is to count the longest continuous carbon chain, which for this case would be one, two, three, four. Four is boot. So I'm having boot there. Number two is to get the functional group. If it's a single bond, a double bond, and ATC. In this case, I'm having a HO or perhaps OH. And OH there becomes an alcohol or alkanol. So if I add alcohol or alkanol to this, it becomes a butanol. So I'll have this compound as a butanol. But because it has four carbon, one, two, three, four. And then alcohol, alcohol or alkanol because of the OH or the HO group. So if I'm done with that, what next? How do I name this? Do I name this from the right? One, two, three, four. Or from the left? One, two, three, four. All right, to name this one here, what you do is this. I will name it from a direction such that I'll have the least number attached to the functional group, which in this case is OH. So if I have this diagram like this, where do I get to OH faster? If I move from right to left, I'll be having one, two, three, four. So carbon four bears the OH. But if I move this way, it becomes one, two, three, four, and carbon one bear the OH. So if I'm taking the least number, it becomes one, two, three, four. So I'm naming it this way, or I am numbering this way, such that the carbon one bears the OH, all right? So with this, what next? I'll get something to end. From alphabetical order, I'll have bromine before chlorine, because in alphabetical order, B comes before C. So this becomes 3-bromo, so I'm having 3-bromo, 2-chloro, 2-chloro, then this becomes what there? Butanol. So I'm having butanol or butan 1 or Better still, you can call this 3-bromo, 2-chloro, Butan one on. So if I check my option, this is um, three bromo two chloro butanol. That is option B. So option B is the answer. All right. Let's take the next question. The next question here says an isomer of C five H twelve is dash. So I'm giving C five H twelve. How do I get the isomer? Now when it comes to isomerism. Isomerism or isomer has to do with compound that have the same molecular formula but different structure. So they're asking you which of this compound has the same formula of C5H12. That means which of this compound has 5 carbon and 12 hydrogen. So how do you do that? Very simple. So first things first, I need 5 carbon. If I consider ethyl butane, butane is 4 carbon, ethyl is 2 carbon. 4 plus 2 gives you 6. So this cannot be the answer. Come to butane. Butane is a 4-carbon compound. And I have C5. So this cannot be the answer. Come to this one here. Prop propane is carbon 3. Methyl is carbon 1. So 1 plus 3 should give you what there? 4. This cannot be the answer. If I look at this, butane is 4. Methyl is 1. 4 plus 1 gives you what there? 5. So obviously... This would be the answer. So this is how I would speedily get the answer without even have to draw the structure. But then, just to be sure I'm correct, let me draw structure. So let me draw structure for two methyl butane. First things first, I will get butane for carbon. One, two, three, four. All right. When you have two methyl, it means that the methyl group is attached to carbon two. So let's say I choose to count from here one, two. So this one here, attach methyl, which is CH3. So CH3, balance this up. This is having one, two, three, four. 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. This is now balanced. If I count the number of carbon, I have one, two, three, four, five, C5. Count the number of hydrogen, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. H12. So that's correct. So this is how you can speedily get your answer. Let's look at the last one there. The last question here says the general formula for halo alkanes, where X represents the halide, is dash. So how do you get halo alkanes? First things first, for alkane, your general molecular formula for alkane is Cn H2N plus 2. This is what I have for alkane. Now, when you have a halo alkane, it means a halogen is replacing one hydrogen atom. That means I'm having a plus two hydrogen atom here. One of the hydrogen atoms will be displaced by a halogen. So two becomes one, and then I'll bring in the halogen. So I have this as the general formula. So from this, I can see that the correct answer here should be D, Cn, H2n plus 1, X. All right, so these are, this is, this are like um, some jam questions on organic chemistry. I have prepared a complete tutorial on organic chemistry from the very basics to the complex of organic chemistry, treating everything from alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, alkanols, aldehyde, ketones, amines, amides, everything, including their preparation, their reaction, and all other things you need to know about organic chemistry, from the scratch to everything you need to know, all right? And you can get my course on organic chemistry on my website. Simply visit www.junaimani.com forward slash courses and you see the organic chemistry course. So from there, you can get the course. Thank you and see you in our next class.